When choosing a motherboard, we really recommend that you really do your homework on it. Um, for our good place to start PC, we actually, this is the specific motherboard we use, the Gigabyte Z170 XP SLI. Um, to be honest, we've literally spent about three weeks doing our research between different manufacturers and different boards to decide which one do we actually want to use for our builds. And a lot of it is personal preference. I, for example, here's the MSI board, which you've seen most of our stuff is Gigabyte. Um, my personal um, gaming PC, I use, a, in one of them anyway, I use a MSI, one I use a Asus, and one I use a Gigabyte. Uh, the reason why we've gone for Gigabyte in this case is this is the actual board that's been used in one of my um, gaming PCs. It's about 10 years old, and from that generation I had an Intel, uh, Asus, and this Gigabyte. And this Gigabyte Ultra Durable is the only one that's still running without issues. The Asus one is still there, but it is really a few gremlins have started to creep in. But that being said, 10 years is a fairly long lifespan for a computer, but that's what we want to offer. Um, so we, we will offer a variety. We can get you different boards if you want a specific board that's not listed in, um, in our store yet. The reason why we're listing products relatively slowly is we really like doing this kind of level of research um, into every single product we actually recommend to you. So we do have more on offer. But um, we prefer to really only offer the ones which we feel oh, is a good buy, which would really give you the value that you're probably looking for. And for us to be able to say we're comfortable with what we're supplying you is one of the best options in the market. But really, a motherboard is one of those things where if you're going to spend a bit more money on it, a motherboard, the graphics card, and the SSD are the two are the three things which. It's really worthwhile doing your homework properly, spending a little bit of extra money. Um, for example, uh, if you're looking at a Skylake processor, go for the Z170 chipset, don't go for anything less. Even the H170 only has 16 PCI Express lanes. That means if you're starting to add PCI Express SSDs, you'll lose graphics card performance. Whereas the Z1 actually has 20, so you've got four lanes to be able to use for other applications like a M.2 uh, MVE SSD. Um, you get people building gaming PCs with like the uh, 110 chipset. Some of those only have eight, um, eight or six PCI Express lanes, and uh, you're simply limiting yourself. If you're using a relatively low graphics card, it might be okay initially, but if you want to upgrade later on, you're going to have to replace the motherboard. And by that time, you might find that the specific motherboards aren't available, and then you'll end up having to replace the motherboard and the CPU. So if you're looking for a long-term PC, really rather get yourself a good motherboard and make sure you do a bit of homework on the chipset to make sure that the chipset is something that um, will last you and won't give you headaches a few years down the line.